Hi, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney. Today I have a very exciting, yet slightly overwhelming from my point of view, video for you in that I am packing for our Disney Magic at Sea UK staycation. I am so excited. One week from today, at time of filming, we will be embarking the Disney Magic for our first ever Disney cruise and I cannot wait. The reason it's a little bit overwhelming, and you may know this if you have seen my what the girls are gonna wear or what the boys are gonna wear on the cruise videos, is that there is a lot of stuff to pack. We are a family of six, and it's just a case of sort of, where do I start? I've been putting off starting this all morning and suffering from a little bit of paralysis by analysis, and now it is time to just get on with it. So we will actually be staying overnight at the port the night before. So we need a bag for that hotel. My plan is to just put some things in there that will be our embarkation clothes, the basics we need for that night, and then we will leave that in the car while we embark the ship. And then I've got the cases I'm planning to pack by day or by outfit, not even necessarily by day, perhaps by like group of outfits for each restaurant and I've got all the different bags and things and all the different accessories and I just wanna make sure that I don't leave anything behind. As I pack, I will be working through my list that I have got as a printable available on my blog. So I've got a list of things that we need for the day before embarkation to travel up there in that luggage. I've got a list of things I need for hand luggage and a list of things we need for check-in luggage, as well as a list that I personally have for all my vlogging equipment that I'm going to need to take too. So if you would like to grab these printable lists, make sure you use the link below. They are free to download when you join my Disney emailing club, which is also free by the way. And as I put together more printables for our Disney trips, I'll be doing more when we go to Florida and things like that. Perhaps after we get back from the cruise, there will be more perhaps organizational printables, that kind of thing to plan out your trip. As I develop all of those, then as a member of my email club, you will get all those delivered directly to your inbox. There's also lots of spaces to add your own things that you will need. So print those out before you start packing. At least then my list will help to, as I go through everything, know what I have done and what I have left to do. overwhelm is real. I have got all the boys stuff plonked on the floor, I've got all my stuff and the girls stuff plonked behind me. I need to think of a system. So maybe I should start with putting aside the things that we're going to wear to travel to get to the port so that nobody else wears them because that's always a bit of a thing I find if you don't put things aside your family will wear the stuff you want them to wear on that day so I'm going to put the travel clothes aside and then I perhaps I'll do the overnight bag for when we stay in the hotel the night before at the port and with all our clothes for embarkation in them and then perhaps I will start tackling the clothes for the actual ship. Now all our ears are actually stored in my daughter's bedrooms. I've got them on command hooks displayed on the side of Calyx units. So I need to gather together all of those. I've also got quite a lot of beautiful lounge fly bags. By the way, anything that I'm mentioning in this video, if you want to get your hands on any of the, the Disney bits and pieces I've got, I've got blog posts to go with each of the videos that I do. So all the blog posts will be found in the description. I will pop a blog post up in the cards with links to everything that I'm mentioning. Anyway, what was I saying? The lounge fly bags, which are also on display in my daughter's bedrooms, just too pretty to hide away. Um, I thought I would use those as perhaps the world's most expensive packing cubes. So I thought I would pack the outfit. So say I've got like a bell outfit. I will fold, fold it all up neatly and pack it inside the bag. And then the bag won't be taking up space because it is containing stuff within the suitcase. I'm gonna go and find those bags for embarkation, start there and then start tackling our getting on the ship stuff. I have found some bits that I need. So this is the bag that I picked up in a Primark haul for the night before embarkation. I'm hoping to just be able to put all of our embarkation outfits in here if they will all fit. 
and then take off all our dirty clothes and pop that in the car and we won't need to carry all that stuff on the cruise. If you've watched any pack with me videos before on my main channel, Mummy of Four, you'll know that I love a packing cube. So I'm going to put everything in packing cubes, but only once I've checked it all. First, I'm gonna gather everything together in baskets. So I will put a basket of per person, I guess, of gathering bits and pieces like socks, pants, pajamas, those kinds of things that need packing, just so I can kind of get some order about the place because the whole place is kind of looking a bit overwhelming and chaotic at the moment. I need to bring some level of order to the chaos and the carnage. So I'm gonna start sorting bits from the case into these baskets per person and then have one basket just for bits that we need for that night before embarkation bag. And then hopefully I'll start feeling a bit less blah, and a bit more organized. Late at night in the dark At least when I'm not with you It's like without you I just fall apart And I don't know what I'm heading into Cause all of my emotions flow In a way that I just can't control Cause I'm new to this I don't Everything still looks like chaos, but it's starting to feel a little tiny bit more like organized chaos. I now, for example, have a basket of collected together swimwear. So all that swimwear looks a mess, but at least it's all one category. I've got all of the packing cubes and bags and things I've collected in one place. This basket is all of my bits. I've got one over here, of just sleepwear, just stuff for the girls, just stuff for Dylan, just stuff for William, and then all the bits on hangers. And then this basket, is stuff for either traveling up or embarkation. The problem is I don't really have any room to move, so I'm just gonna have to slide all these baskets out of the way to make some space to pack some bits in. The other thing I'm gonna need to do is go and collect the lounge fly bags and the ears from the girls' room, because obviously I'm gonna need them to pack in with the different out bits, including some for embarkation. I'll go and grab those now, because let's face it, there's not enough stuff in this room, is there? But I feel Embarkation, you will know this if you have seen my what the boys are wearing or what the girls are wearing videos, but the boys have got these t-shirts. Now that one is my elder son's. This one is my younger son's. I can't find my husband's, so that's missing. The girls have got these dresses, so they can go folded neatly in there. I am wearing this top and this mini mouse skirt so they can go in. Now I can't decide whether to pack cardigans, jackets, that kind of thing for embarkation. I don't really want to be laden with a whole load of stuff as we're embarking the ship but will the terminal be cold? I don't really know. So those are the clothes we're going to wear. The boys, my teenage son, will prefer jeans so he will just go up in jeans and wear jeans and I'll pack shorts for him to change into on the ship if that's what he wants to do. Um, so for the boys I'm just literally going to get them to wear what they're wearing up to the port the day before and then put those same bottoms on so my son and my husband probably will wear jeans and William will wear shorts. So that's fine, that's easy. The girls outfits for travelling up got these so I'm just going to put these set just aside, just aside. Um, now I've got little denim jackets for them, for on the ship, but do I just take a cardigan perhaps to wear on the day up there? I don't know. So this is wearing up their stuff. Now these are for embarkation for my husband and two sons. William will wear these shoes on his feet to get to the port so they can go in that basket. I am wearing these yellow shoes to embark the ship but not the day before so they can go in that basket. The girls are wearing 
They are little Minnie Mouse sandly thingies, but they will wear them up, so I don't need to pack shoes for them. My husband and son will wear whatever's on their feet, and I guess I will wear... Oh, I'm going to pack my Mickey ones. Yeah, I'm going to wear my Mickey Mouse flip-floppy things to get up there. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where my husband's t-shirt is. I know he, I need a different size for him, so I ordered it later. Maybe that would be the reason. Okay, nightwear now. Nightwear. So they need something to wear to bed when we stay in the hotel the night before. Now William's got these nice new pyjamas. Got marble and some more marble, but he's going to want those on the ship. So, like, pyjamas they're less attached to, I guess, uh, for the night before because they will not be coming with us on board. I don't have enough jammies for Will. I don't have any pyjamas for the night before for my husband. I've got, he has got some Disney ones, like... Yes, did I buy my husband Mickey Mouse pyjamas bottoms? Yeah, I did. Will he wear them? Not sure. Okay, for the girlies, I think we can pop these frozen ones on. Now, last time we went away, if you saw it on my main channel when we went to the Celtic Manor, I did pack two Bella sized bottoms and poor little Zaza, they were falling right off her. So, right, we've got an eight to ten, four to six, an eight to ten, I need a four to six bottoms and they can go in the night before. Yes, right. Night before bag for Zaza getting somewhere. So I need to find another set of pyjamas for Will for the night before, pyjamas for Dylan and my husband for the night before, and pyjamas for me for every night. Although I must admit, I don't really wear pyjamas even to bed. I kind of wear those little shorts, which I need to find like little jersey shorts and t-shirts. So why not? Just I'll just take some Disney t-shirts and that way I can wear them on deck, I can wear them to bed, whatever. Ugh. Got it, it was downstairs in my laundry room because that's where I'd hung it up. So, Am I right in thinking? That is all the boy tops for embarkation, the girls' pajamas for the night before. So I still need underwear for everybody, pajamas for the boys and myself but the girls are done. Okay, we're getting there. So I'm going to press pause on the night before stuff and just hide that around the corner. So I don't have to I'll come back to that. Oh no, actually, first I'll put some pants in. I did buy some pants, new pants for the girls, just so I'd have all the pants I needed. I'm just gonna grab a pair of each of those and shove them in for the night before. Right, so the rest of that, that's for the girls. We've got some nightwear. I think I need to start moving on to, I'll put swimwear out the way actually. Bye bye swimwear and bye bye pyjamas. We'll deal with you later. I think I need to start moving on to some outfits because then I can start getting some of this stuff cleared out of the way.
getting there. I've now got all this stuff. These are the outfits for me and the girls. I don't think I've put the girls' PJs in. I haven't, but I have packed some t-shirts and like jersey shorts for me. So they're all in there. All of the outfits are packed within the bag that the outfit goes with. It is lounge fly packing cubes. Bit extra, yes, but it's the only way I can fit it all in. So I think now I need to move on to some of the boys' stuff. And then my plan is, once it's all in packing cubes, to arrange it per case. I'd rather have each case having lots of different family members' things in it rather than a case for me, case for the boys, case for the girls, whatever. Because that way, if anything went missing, you know, touch wood, I mean, it's very unlikely to on a cruise, but if you're going on a plane, you'd be more likely to perhaps have a case go missing even for a short time. And if everyone has got at least something to wear in each case, then if a case does go missing, it's not like, okay, someone's got loads of stuff and someone's got none. It's all kind of mixed up. So that would be a top tip for packing cases that you are checking in anywhere. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found is I about to do the stuff for my husband. Now he's got sort of Disney t-shirts for the day and then nice polo shirts to go for dinner. It's like a, you know, smarter casual. And I wanted this purple one for him for Rapunzel's Royal Table and I just found it in his chair drawer, which is a drawer I allocated when we moved to this house, which is the stuff that is instead of a chair. So we used to have a chair in the last house and it drove me insane. Stuff that was too dirty to go away, but not dirty enough to go in the wash. Anyway, now he's got a drawer, which is great. And I have a Canalex box in my wardrobe just for those things you're not sure what to do with. But I found this in it. Now it needs washing, which means I can't fully complete packing today, which is a bit irritating. But I think there's always gonna be a few things I'm gonna to have to add through the rest of the week. So this is going on the list. So I think I'll pack all his Disney t-shirts now and then perhaps add in his tidier ones separately and do all his tidier ones together, including this dirty one I found. for masks. I have got millions of these. They were in the Disney store. The last set I bought were reduced to a pound a pack, which is really cool. They will still need masks, which are compulsory indoors for anyone over the age of 11 on the cruise. So that's three of my party, myself, my husband, and my eldest son. So they all need to be packed into a packing cube. I am gonna pack these pack away bags so if we buy anything extra that doesn't fit in the case or to put washing in they need to go in i am getting there i think if you saw this video over on my main channel you'll know i already have a pre-packed charger bag full of wires cables all those sorts of gubbins and that just lives in our case toiletries already pre-packed which i need to check that but it's already done 
medical kit full of all the bits and pieces I hope not to need and toothbrushes and toothpaste I've actually packed two toothpaste because there are two bathrooms there'll be one in our stateroom and one in the adjoining stateroom so if people are cleaning their teeth in both it won't be like where's that toothpaste and carrying them back and forth like we've had to do before so other than my husband's stuff which is gonna have to be added afterwards the hand luggage which I'm gonna have to do tomorrow because I'm losing the plot, I think. Maybe I'll try and get it done later, but if not, it'll have to be tomorrow. And then all this stuff, which needs to go into this bag, I think we're nearly there. I've also got some jackets and things which I need to pack. So perhaps I'll pack those next so that they can be, I think I'm gonna put them in the case. I'm hoping not to need jackets for embarkation because let's face it, it'd be a pain to carry extra stuff. Don't wanna be like some sort of pack horse carrying loads and loads of things as we board the ship. So I'm gonna put them in one side of the case where I know where they are, kind of keep a mental note of where they are. And if we need to grab them because it's cold, we will. If not, great. Everything I've mentioned, by the way, is linked in a blog post. I've also got a separate video like a sit down video a bit less chaotic about what we're wearing myself and the girls what the boys are wearing and another one about things you need to pack that are not clothes for a disney cruise right on to this lot for the night before bag yeah. Now, as you've seen, I've already packed for the girls. They've got so many of these really poofy princess dresses. I wasn't gonna take any, partly because they're huge and we've already got quite a lot of stuff. Um, but I thought if we end up booking Royal Court Royalty, which is apparently amazing, they're gonna need a poofier dress. So if I can fit them in, I'm gonna squish these into a packing kit too. I'm now absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I've done. Here's where we're at. These three cases are done. This is my hand luggage and my husband's. Mine will be reasonably last minute, all my vlogging equipment and documents. His is pretty much just the wine we're allowed for carry on. These are the children's. They're having a pen each, some sunglasses, although Dylan's got his own prescription sunglasses, pack of wet wipes each, a hairbrush. I have got a little notebook for each of them. They will put their favorite teddy in there and that's all they need. Over here I've got a collection of bits to wear up the day before just so no one wears them. These are our overnight the night before things. I've popped them in a packing cube just to keep them separate but I will check them and put them into this overnight bag and these are some other bits. Dylan's given me some really fluffy pajamas. I can ask him for some lighter weight pajamas. So all that stuff can go in there. That's our night before bag. I'm also, I think, gonna take this case into the hotel the night before. It's got jackets and hoodies in case we need those, in case the weather's yucky for embarkation day. But it's also got the toiletries, toothbrushes, medical kit, chargers, etc. So I think into the hotel the night before, we'll take that and then we'll take that, and then all the dirty stuff that we take off can go in there, we'll leave that in the car, and take that on the ship. The other thing is I've got all these blankets that I bought for use on deck, and they don't seem to fit in my cases, so I'm tempted to fit those 
into a big squashy bag and just check that in. So as you can see, I still have a few bits and pieces to go, but today is Monday and we are leaving home on Sunday to sail on Monday, which is a week today. So, although I have got a couple of bits to do, I feel like I've broken the back of it. And once I've got those other bits, let's face it, I could have probably finished it today if my husband's clothes had all been in the wash and clean as they were supposed to be, but never mind. Um, it's probably a good opportunity to just recheck it later in the week with a clear head, because at the moment my mind's a bit like, so thanks so much for watching. The next vlogs you've got coming up from me, I will vlog traveling up to the port the day before. I don't know whether I'll put that on my Disney channel or over on my main channel, Mummy of Four, so make sure you subscribe on both. But then on this channel will absolutely be the embarkation vlog and then in detail vlogs of the whole trip, the whole experience. I cannot wait to share it with you. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all those things. I shall see you in the next video. Choose one from around my head. See you over there. Bye.